when the mind settles down, this sense of strong mindfulness and concentration, that's real food for the mind. The food we get from seeing things and listening to things and smelling and tasting, that's, that's snack food for the mind. Keeps you from being hungry, but it doesn't provide that much real nourishment. The real nourishment comes from the qualities you build into the mind. Qualities like persistence, mindfulness, concentration, discernment, goodwill. These things are genuine food for the mind because it gives it, they give the mind real strength. And the nourishment you get from sights, sounds, smells, tastes, tactile sensations, that doesn't really give you any strength. And the problem is you get very dependent on those things and they actually lead to a kind of weakness inside. So even though you, we can't help but have snack food, but make sure you also get the, your real meal, the real meal of real nourishment. Because it's the qualities of the mind that keep you well fed, that keep you strong. So that even when you get to see things or hear things or taste things you don't like, the mind can still have a sense of well-being, because it knows how to look after itself. The mind that is constantly dependent on things outside for its happiness, that's the mind that's very easily can be made a slave to things, a slave to other people, because they can lure you with their things and scare you with the idea that the things will go away. But if things are there and you're happy, if things are not there and you're still happy because they, they don't have any power over you and nobody else can use them to get power over you as well. That way the mind is really free. So that's the kind of strength you want, the kind of nourishment you want. The real food for the mind comes in the qualities that you develop as you try to get the mind centered and under control. Those are the qualities that make the mind strong.